guys, it's Clara. Here is this week's meal plan. Today is Monday, so I will be making the butter chicken and we'll have some cabbage masala that I had made from last week alongside that. Tonight I will also be making Tuesday's dish, which is a Filipino thing called apertata. It's a chicken, tomato, and potato kind of dish. Tonight I will only be making the butter chicken and the apertata. Wednesday and Thursday's dish, the pot roast, is a crock pot thing. So tonight I'll just cut up the vegetables that will go in that dish so it's ready to go. Friday is super easy Dollar Tree pizza margaritas, so I'll make those that night. And then Saturday we have a birthday dinner. I had an entire series filmed and ready to go for you guys, but look what happened to my camera disc. Isn't that horrible? I had some leftovers from a few days ago, some white rice that we will eat tonight and tomorrow with the Filipino dish. The cabbage masala I had mentioned earlier is basically a lot of lovely Indian spices mixed along with cabbage, peas, and tomatoes. This will be alongside the butter chicken. Someday I really hope to make butter chicken from scratch, but right now I'm going to use this mix I had found on clearance from Kroger. I'll be putting in an onion and some red peppers that I need to use up from the freezer. So Tuesday's dish, the affrettata, is a very easy and simple dish. It's basically chicken with carrots, potatoes, onion, tomatoes, peas, garlic. In our family, it tends to be a dish that is very palatable for guests and relatives who are not used to a lot of non-American foods. And look who I'm watching while I'm cooking. Hi, Marisol. Wednesday and Thursday is the pot roast. So for this, the only thing I'll be doing for this is just chopping up the carrots, potatoes, and onion. And then these are the Dollar Tree items I will be using for Friday's pizzas. So I'll be cutting up the chickens first and then cooking up the garlic and onions. So this will be the butter chicken and this will be the Filipino affrettata. In go the potatoes to the affrettata. So after the potatoes have cooked for a little bit, I added the carrots, onions, garlic. I'm going to add some crushed tomatoes, some salt, pepper, and a bay leaf. Okay, so the apertata is simmering. In the Filipino culture, I have seen so many different ways that this dish is made. I think basically the basics of this recipe are chicken, some kind of tomato sauce and base, uh, potatoes, carrots, a lot of people add peas, which is what we're going to do. Butter chicken dish, I'm cooking the onions in about a quarter stick of butter. And technically I guess this might not be a butter chicken because to kind of dilute the salt out a little bit that a lot of mixes have, I'm going to be adding these red peppers. The sliced chicken has been kind of soaking in the paste. Add the red peppers. This is the spice packet that goes with it. I'm going to crush those cardamom pods. This already smells amazing and I haven't even added the chicken with all those spices yet. I would love to learn to cook butter chicken from scratch. I know I have a few friends who watch this channel who are Indian or who love Indian food. So if you know how to cook butter chicken, please do let me know. I did cook the cabbage masala from scratch and it wasn't too difficult, but I have no idea. Butter chicken might be harder. So once this is cooked down a bit further, I will add the chicken. After letting the chicken cook for a few minutes, I add the crushed tomatoes mixture and I will let this simmer for a bit. After simmering, this recipe typically calls for cream. Um, I don't typically have cream in the refrigerator and of course I forgot to get some today. So I'm going to see if I could use the rest of this leftover yogurt. Um, hopefully it'll work. I could end up destroying this entire recipe, but if it works, it could be a way to make this recipe a little bit less fat. So 
So while the butter chicken and the affrettata are simmering, I'm going to go ahead and chop up the vegetables that will be going in the pot roast for Wednesday. Pot roast veggies are ready to go. Thank you. 